Far Cry 6. The sixth game in the Far Cry series, like the 13th or 14th in the whole thing altogether. We're going to talk about buying this game this year. Is this game worth playing in 2024? Should you be buying it or should you not? Welcome to MGN TV. I'm your host, Fluffles, and today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of Far Cry 6. So get ready and let's get into this. Now at launch, this game was terribly criticized by the players. They said it was underdeveloped, felt rushed, graphics didn't seem to change at all from the previous game Far Cry 5, and the story was not taken well. Uh, the only good thing people said at launch was that Giancarlo Esposito was in it, also known as Gus from Breaking Bad. All of you guys know him. But despite all of the criticism Ubisoft was getting, they didn't give up. They kept pumping updates out and they just kept fixing all the bugs, glitches that everybody was talking about experiencing. And then they finally decided to just give up, but in a good way. They started focusing more on the story. They were adding new things up until eventually they came out with the first DLC. And it was three mini ones plugged all into one where you play in the minds of the last three Far Cry villains. The first being Vaz from Far Cry 3, then Pagan Min from Far Cry 4, and finally Joseph Seed from Far Cry 5. And as you can see, it was just where you play in the minds of the last three Far Cry villains. And now fast forward to December 6, 2022, and then the second DLC in total was released. And this was the Lost Between Worlds DLC. And in this DLC, it adds a whole new quote-unquote map. And a little, little, little story for you, a little extra story for you, but it really wasn't anything special. You just fight red and blue enemy guys that aren't really that much different from the story characters. But other than that, that was all for the story of the game after this. Nothing else was added after this much and that was about it. And now, looking at the combat, it's terrible, in my opinion. The only good thing about it is that they finally brought back the gruesome and brutal takedowns from the previous games because in Far Cry 5, all you did was slap somebody in the head with a shovel and call it a day. But other than that, the combat in this game is horrendous, and I, there's no other way to explain it, unfortunately. I have to say, my biggest problem with this game is the AI. As you see here, I walk right up to this truck, and the guy doesn't, doesn't even notice me. Even when I put a knife in his skull, he still didn't recognize me. Which I find a big problem in this game, where the enemies take too long to notice you, or just don't react to things that they should be. I genuinely think the biggest problem with this game is the combat system. It's just, it's too easy. Even on the hardest difficulty, which is what this playthrough is on, this game is still too easy. They added this difficulty to make the game harder, but look at my mini-map. All of that red are enemies. And right here, I almost get spotted, I turn one corner, and they completely lose interest. You could send your little... Little friend friends in, and they will clear entire outposts for you. That shouldn't... No. This game is easy. That's just how I'm going to put it. The combat is lackluster, and the weapons either do insane amounts of damage, or don't do anything at all. There is no in-between for this game. And that just seems like a really big downgrade from the previous games where you actually were challenged with the combat, challenged with what weapons and style you play the game, and in this game, they just throw it all away with the health bars, the damage, the combat, the AI, the whole thing is just easy. There's no challenge to it. And there you have it. My take on Far Cry 6. It's... It's a good game. I'm going to give it that. It's a good game if you like to sit down, relax, 
have combat here and there, run around looking through nature and things like that. But other than that, this game was just a big cash grab in my opinion. They really ruined the Far Cry series with this game and I'm really scared for what the future of the series is because Far Cry 7 was recently announced. So again, there you have it. Far Cry 6. A mediocre game, but if you are a fan of the series, I would recommend giving it a try. And if you're just looking at it and thinking about it, I honestly, I would say go watch some YouTubers tutorials, go watch their playthroughs, and figure it out for yourself because this game is 50-50. I'm your host Fluffles, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.